Hey, it's Beth. And this week we are continuing to look at the theme of keeping Jesus at the centre of our lives. Last week we looked at the story of Peter walking on the water towards Jesus and the importance of keeping our eyes and our focus on Jesus. If you haven't watched that, then you might want to go back and watch that before you watch this one. But this week we are carrying on the theme and looking at the importance of staying connected to Jesus. And I'm going to jump straight in with a couple of verses from the Bible and they're taken from the Gospel of John. Now John is one of four books written all about the life of Jesus and the couple of verses we are going to read are actual words that Jesus said to his disciples. And we're going to look at John 15, 4 to 5. And in those verses it says this. Remain united to me and I will remain united to you. A branch cannot bear fruit by itself. It can do so only if it remains in the vine. In the same way, you cannot bear fruit unless you remain in me. I am the vine and you are the branches. Those who remain in me and I in them will bear much fruit, for you can do nothing without me. Now we're going to unpack that a little bit together now. And I want you firstly to imagine a vine of some sort, maybe a grapevine. If you're not sure what one looks like, then maybe pause the video now, go to Google, have a little look and then come back. But essentially, a vine is a stem of a vine plant. So think a bit like a trunk of a tree. And from it, there are branches and branches produce fruit. Now, the branches need to be connected to the vine because it's the vine that transports all the water up the vine, up the stem, and all the nutrients to the branches to help them to survive and thrive. And without that connection, the branches and the fruit would wither up and die. Now, in these verses, Jesus is saying that he is the vine and that we are the branches. And so essentially he's saying we need to be connected to him because he has everything we need, not just to survive, but to thrive. And so it's really important that we connect with him. Now, there are a couple of things that I would love us to think about off the back of it. And the first is this idea of connection. God created us and designed us to be in relationship with him and be connected to him. Now, you may have heard that many times before, or that might be the first time that you are hearing it. But these passages so clearly show that we are supposed to be connected to Jesus. But it's not a one-way situation. It's a two-way relationship. Jesus says that we are to remain united to him. But he also says that he is united to us. And when we're a follower of Jesus, his spirit lives in us and Jesus is actively pursuing us, which is so, so exciting. The second thing that I want to highlight is that it talks about fruit in the passages that I just read out, that we've just been thinking about. And you might be thinking, what does that mean like in, in our lives? With the branches, Jesus, the vine, what's the fruit? Well, the fruit are all the good things that God does in us and through us, all of the good qualities and characteristics, the things that we do that help others and help ourselves and share God's joy. And it says in this verse that we need to be connected to Jesus to bear fruit. So often in our lives, we try and be a good person with good character and doing good things and avoiding mistakes all in our own effort and put a lot of pressure on ourselves. But these passages, these verses say that these things, these fruit come from spending time with Jesus. And so we can see these things happen when we're spending time with the source of everything that is good. And so with all this in mind, bearing everything that I've just spoken about in mind, it is so important that we take the time out to connect with Jesus. And that'll look different for each one of us. If you haven't seen our videos on connecting with God, then you might want to go and watch those because they've got some good tips and some good wisdom in there as well. But it's all about taking time to pray, spend time in your day with Jesus, read the Bible and do it in whatever way suits you. Now, as always, we've got some discussion questions and activities for you to think about and go and explore this topic deeper. So we hope that you'll go and check those out and that you enjoyed this video. See you later.